this question is asked in most of the interviews i'll answer this question in this video what happens when length of the capillary tube is less than the capillary rise you can find the capillary rise from this formula h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g d so this is the formula for capillary rise that means if there is a some liquid in container and you have inserted or dipped it a capillary tube a capillary tube into this liquid you can see that there is a capillary rise for this liquid so there is a capillary rise and if I zoom it into this tube this is the surface tension force that is acting and this is theta this angle is theta this is sigma and rho is the density g is the acceleration due to gravity and d is the diameter so this gives us the capillary rise how much uh, water or uh, how much liquid has been raised in the capillary tube what happens if the tube is not of this much but of this much so what happens now for example if the capillary rise is some 2 cm what if the tube is 1 cm 1 cm length what happens if the tube is 1 cm length if you face this question just first you need to analyze why the capillary rise occurs why capillary rise so you need to first answer this question why capillary rise occurs so capillary rise or capillary depression occurs the, because if adhesion is more than cohesion then capillary rise occurs that means this liquid uh, moves to a height of more than this uh, liquid surface in the container if cohesion is greater than adhesion then depression occurs so capillary rise means like this and capillary depression means like this so this is the liquid surface in the capillary tube so that is the depression now from this you can see that if adhesion is more than cohesion then there is a capillary rise so if this is the container and this is the liquid if the tube is just if the tube is just 1 cm that means this is 1 cm or so if this is 1 cm from free, free surface uh, to this uh, highest position this is 1 cm the capillary rise is 2 cm for this liquid so what happens does the water uh, does the liquid comes out of this or uh, does the capillary rise does not occur so let's see from this addition is greater than cohesion so here if you consider up to this level addition will be present cohesion also will be present but addition is greater than cohesion so that if you zoom it so the particles will be attracted more towards the addition because addition is more than cohesion now the particles will be attracted towards glass tube and when this reaches this top surface or uh, thus uh, this top position there is no glass tube over this uh, to attract this molecules so there is no glass tube to attract this molecules so the liquid stops at this top position that means if there is length 
less than capillary rise then liquid rises liquid rises up to top portion that means up to this top portion the liquid rises and it does not overflow from this or uh, uh, neither it uh, does not over, uh, overflow uh, nor uh, it does not uh, stay at the at its surface level of the container so this happens when the length is less than the capillary rise